creation and all created things above all wisdom and all the ways of men you were there before the world began above all kingdoms above all thrones above all wonders the world has ever known above all wealth and treasures of the end there's no way to measure at your word crucify lay behind the storm you live to die rejected and alone like a rose that is trampled on the ground you took the form you thought of me above all powers above all kings above all nature and all created things above all wisdom and all the ways of man you were here before the world began above all kingdoms above all thrones above all wonders the world has ever known above all wealth and all these hallelujah brothers and sisters welcome you are so welcome today in the name of jesus i'm thrilled today to bring to you again the good news of the gospel the gospel of peace i want to talk today about um the humanity and the divinity of the lord jesus christ i know so many muslim and many people have asked me about how can god be a man amen so let's just go to the scriptures i'm singing this song just to, to just like just to explain how uh, jesus christ is god amazing god and who came to be crucified for us amen in the name of jesus i want to talk about his divinity and also about his humanity side you know because most people don't understand that they don't get it they think that uh, man is only body they don't know that man is made of body spirit and soul and the bible says that jesus christ is the image of the invisible god because god is invisible and you cannot see god with your clear eyes but jesus christ is that image that you can see who is god amen let's go to the book of philippians the book of philippians 2 explains a little bit here a little bit here about um, jesus christ's divinity and his humanity philippians uh, 2 verse 5 says let this mind be in you which was also in christ jesus who being in the form of god because he was god the image of god though he thought not it robbery to be equal with god he made himself of no reputation he took upon himself a form of a servant that means he became man a form of a servant and he was made in the likeness of men he was made he was not god i mean he was not a man but he was made in the likeness of men like us human beings and being uh, found in the fashion of a man he humbled himself and became obedient even unto the dead even the death of the cross wherefore god has highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name that at the name of jesus christ every knee shall bow things in heaven you can say beings in heaven that means in the heavenlies and uh, beings on earth which the beings in the heavenlies are the angels you can say beings on earth are the humans and beings that are on underneath the earth are the demons every niche about and they say every tongue was confessed that jesus christ is lord to the glory of god the father amen he was god 
but he was made in the fashion of man. The book of Hebrews says, and Hebrews 2 also explained how he took, he did not want to take the form of Abraham. I mean, he did not want to take the form of angels to come here like an angel, but he took the form of Abraham, like the like us, the Abraham descendants, to become a human. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. But he is God. He became a human amen in the name of the lord jesus christ that is what i want to talk today about his divinity that song is so amazing i like that song because it's talking about above all kingdoms above all throne above all treasures above everything on this earth nobody can measure the word the word of the lord jesus christ how 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 amazing he is how great he is he is god our creator who came to die for us in jesus name he was divine jesus christ was divine and he was also human he came to save the sinners and as a man he could obey the law of god perfectly adam break the law of uh, the law and sin against god so now the bible says that all have sinned and come short to the glory of god amen in the name of the lord jesus christ and then death came too when they that happened death came and passed to all human beings in order for death to be taken away jesus christ has to become a human and in order to pay the penalty of death that is just how it is he has to become a human to pay the penalty of death it's not angels that committed the crime so angels cannot become uh, um, angels cannot pay for the for the price god himself who is a spirit cannot pay for the price but god has to become a human to pay for the penalty of death by the death of the cross he was without sin and he paid the penalty that came through Adam. And those who believe in Jesus Christ will receive salvation in eternal life because your penalty is paid by Jesus Christ for your sin. Amen. Glory be to God. That is the good news of salvation. The cause that was due to man was removed from man because the, the Bible says that cause is everyone who hung on the tree. The cause that we were supposed to die because all have sinned and come short and everyone who sinned, the Bible says the wages of sin is there. That cause was removed from man. As man, he prayed to the Father perfectly. As man, he can be, um, he obeyed the Ten Commandments. As man, he could make sacrifice for sin. He is our great high priest, our perfect lamb for sin. Humans' works could not satisfy the infinite holy God. Our works could not uh, satisfy God. Jesus Christ is the perfect Ten Commandments. He is God and also at the same time, he is man. That is why Jesus Christ was always very happy to tell the people, his disciples, and say, I am the son of man. Amen. To also represent himself and also to be equal like us. He always tell everybody, especially in the book of Luke, you will read it all the time. He said, the son of man did not come to condemn the world they came to save it you know so he was trying to to show that he is a rep our representative in god's right hand amen and now even in heaven he is still that son of man even though it's god he is still the son of man seated at the right hand of god the father glory be to god he was now tempted in all points without sin jesus christ is the is god's appearing in the flesh i know so many uh, people have talked all kind of things argue all kind of things different religion and say jesus christ is not god jesus christ uh, is uh, is just uh, how can god uh, become a child how can god uh, uh, go to uh, caca how can god eat how can no god can do anything that he wants he is the one that created us in his image and he can do whatever he wants jesus christ came into the world to save sinners god declare you righteous when you believe in his son amen from the beginning to the end is about the sacrifice the beginning of the bible to the end of the bible is talking only about the sacrifice the bible said even this was done before the foundation of the world jesus christ was sacrificed on the cross before the foundation of the world god the son give his life so that we can live something have to die so that you can live even animals animals have to die for you to eat something something have to die for you to, so that you can live god love is to give his son to be a propitiation or you can say atonement sacrifice to atone for our sin he became man 
so that he can put away sin. Second Corinthians 5 19 says, He reconciled us to himself. Amen. The Bible says God was in Christ reconciling the world back to himself. God was living in Christ and reconciling the world back to himself. It is impossible for man to make sacrifice to, to please God. God himself provides for us a sacrifice. You remember the time of the book of uh, uh, I think Genesis, uh, Genesis 22, eight, uh, Abraham said, uh, said, um, said to his son when the son isaac asks that where is the lamb where is here is the sacrifice here is the fire and where is the lamb and abraham answered his son and said god himself will provide a lamb amen and that lamb was jesus christ jesus christ is the lamb of god amen the bible said the wages of sin is dead but jesus christ became a cause for us the cause of the lord to remove the cause as being hung on the tree galatian 3 13. There is a transaction when you believe in him, in Jesus Christ. He covers you with his blood and his righteousness. 2 Corinthians 5, 21. The Bible says Christ, say, uh, there's a divine transaction that takes place. Say, for God made Christ to be seen for us who knew no sin. He made it. He just made him to be seen for us who knew no sin so that we should be made now the righteousness of God in him. So that was that divine exchange that took place. Physical death is not the end. All what matters is that if you have received a new life, which means a new creation life, if you are a new creation, for it is written that, that, um, that if anyone be in Christ is a new creation, all things have passed away and everything has become new. So if you become a new creation, you receive the new life. That is 2 Corinthians 5 verse 17. He now gave himself as a ransom for our sin. He is a sin offering. If you read the book of Leviticus, all that uh, old covenant, you see how they were doing the sin offering continuously. Jesus Christ is our sin offering. Amen. By one offering, he sat down. He has sanctified us forever. All those those who are now uh who have now a belief in him you are sanctified forever with that one offering that he did on the cross we have a new nature a new bed amen and that is what is called the new creation if you die you you come to christ you will die to your own nature the new, old sinful nature then god will give you a new nature jesus christ will come and start living in that body which is christ in you is the hope of glory amen in jesus name god dwells in people in human flesh not in building that is what the church is not a building the church is people it is uh, it is um, the church is human beings where joined together as a community where the Holy Spirit live in them that is called the church when we are saved he sealed us with the Holy Ghost until the day of redemption he was also willing to lay down his life for our sin amen Jesus Christ was willing to lay down his life for our sin man sin and it was man that have to pay for the penalty so he became man that is why jesus christ became man man is the one that sinned against god the bible says sin is the transgression of the law the book of first uh, john 3 4 says that but jesus christ became man now so that he can pay that transgression if you read the book of uh, isaiah 53 verse 5 he said that he was wounded for our transgression he was bruised for our iniquity all the chastisement that brought us peace now or reconciliation was laid upon jesus and by his wounds we are here amen in the name of jesus christ so man sin man was the one who was supposed to pay for the penalty of sin adam the first man sin so jesus christ now became now a sin for us and now paid the sin he became man so that he can pay that sin for us and died on the cross and to keep the law perfectly for us in jesus and the word of god can be revealed to anyone through the holy spirit born of the spirit amen without the blood of sacrifice there is no remission of sin that is why the book of uh, hebrews and uh, nine say without shedding of blood there is no remission of sin so jesus can have to share his blood and become a man and share his blood so that he can remit our sin in jesus and the blood that was shed on the cross was for the remission of sin amen so when you repent and you turn to the lord jesus christ that your sin your sin will be remitted that is what peter said in the book of us say repent and turn to the lord jesus so that your sin can be washed be blotted out amen in jesus name 
so you have to embrace salvation so that you should not be separated from god and in eternity especially those who are listening to this today who have not received the gospel who have not known the truth amen so you have to receive the 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 bible said the kingdom of god is near amen jesus christ is the only way the truth and the life in the name of jesus all have sinned and come short to the glory of god and the wages of sin is dead but jesus christ became man so that he can pay the sin of the whole human race he is the second adam the first adam seeing jesus christ is the second adam the, the god the god man who came to die for us so that he can pay the sin for us in jesus name come unto me the lord says all you that are heavy laden and you have heavy burden and i will give you rest you can enter god's rest only when you believe the gospel in the name of the lord jesus if you are born on this earth you can roam around this earth even up to 90 years if you have not received the gospel and received salvation you have not entered god's rest you are still on your own you have not entered god's rest and you will leave this this earth which is very very stressful without no rest and go to hellfire which is also still stressful and you will spend eternity in hell so your time here born on earth is just to find the lord jesus christ and to receive salvation in jesus name it is finished and uh, he had paid the penalty for sin that jesus christ said on the court it is finished he paid the penalty for sin so there is nothing that should be paid again so don't gamble with your life amen salvation is free in the name of jesus christ jesus paid it all to him alone we owe amen jesus christ have overcome the world and we over and we now overcome the devil by his blood the blood of the lamb in the name of jesus and by the words of our testimony we will not love our life even unto death in jesus name you your work can never reach, uh, cannot reach the infinite God. Religion will not save you. Only the perfect sacrifice, which God now Himself provides to cover us for our sin to become a perpetuation. Amen. So that is what can now satisfy God. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, through His uh, His internal sinless Son on the cross, He has paid the price for us to be redeemed. Amen. The Bible says that Christ is our redemption, our Passover sacrifice. Christ is our our righteousness amen and our sanctification first uh, first corinthians 1 verse 30. god gave you a relationship in his world today i hope that god give you revelation today in the name of jesus christ and that he will save you and restore your soul in the name of jesus christ the book of Colossians says that he has counseled Colossians 2 13 to 14 he has counseled all the written codes the death certificate which was against us that was hanging on our neck that was contrary to us he took it out of our way he nailed them to his cross having this arm now principality and power he made a show of them openly triumphant over them in it in the name of jesus glory be to god forever in jesus name if you have received this gospel and you want to accept jesus christ today just say father in the name of jesus forgive me of my sin i believe that jesus christ is um, is the son of god jesus christ is uh, is god and man in jesus name who died for our sin who became man who became flesh and died for our sin in the name of jesus i believe the gospel wash me with the blood of the lord jesus make me a new creation in the mighty name of jesus write my name in the lamb book of life use my life for your glory in the mighty name of jesus and the father will write your name in the lamb book of life in the name of jesus thank you brothers and sisters god bless you for listening in the name of jesus i hope this encourage you today in the mighty name of jesus if you are new here in this channel you can subscribe down below in the mighty name of the lord jesus christ god bless you i am your host today Sister Evangelist Atel, I am a missionary and a teaching evangelist. God bless you. God bless you so much in the name of Jesus. Thank you for listening. I will see you or, or, or talk to you in the next audio or in the next video. Goodbye. Thank you.